Hi, I'm Sarah from Heirloom Creations, and how many of you are tired of cutting up two and a half inch strips or five inch charm squares to use up your scraps? We have for you the new template set from Creative Grids called Scrap Crazy. It actually consists of three different templates put together with uh, five different pieces to make a square. It's kind of neat. It's a great way to use up scraps. You can use them on small pieces, big pieces. You, if you have 10 inch squares or six inch strips, these will all work for you. Check out these quilts made by Karen Montgomery, the designer of these templates. And these patterns are available in our store. You can take a look, aren't those amazing? Now I have to tell you a quick little story about what's behind me. So this has been my project and I'm actually in the middle of it. So we had a customer come in the other day and she had two pieces with her and they were kind of already pre-stitched. So these pieces were um, just given to her, they were donated and working on making a lap quilt. And I said, oh, wouldn't it be fun? You could cut them up into different shapes, not have to work with what was in the pack, kind of pre-sewn, and cut them up and use them into something different. And she looked at me and went, eh. But I was already excited about the scrap crazy template set. And I guess I kind of hijacked her project and I asked if I could use it for this video. So I'm actually finishing the, the quilt. And so I have had some fun taking and from each of the different pieces, cutting them up into different shapes. So that's why this particular sample behind me looks like it has some extra pieces in it because we started with scraps that were actually pieced. Here's a quick scrap crazy block that I've been playing with where I've controlled some of the colors and where they are used with the templates. Now I said I was working on the project that was hanging on the wall behind me. So as I've been cutting up, this is what it looks like. And why not? When you have leftover scraps from your project, couldn't you set up a little corner in your cutting table that you could just cut up a few and then depending on what size you can actually do, they will start to grow and then you'll have a whole nother quilt to work on. So these are the blocks I need to finish up and put on that sample that I am working on. Okay, so let's see how this actually works. So first off, when working with the 10 inch square size. So if you do happen to have the luxury of a 10 inch square, this is how you're gonna start. First off, if you have a piece that's folded in half, like the way it comes off a bolt, make sure you cut it and separate it. You do need to have both the right sides, uh, right sides up. So we're gonna lay this out. Now, as you take a look at these templates, let's explain what we're looking at here. So on this one, we have an A and B. So we have a, sh a long one for A, where we'll use the whole entire template, and then we have a short one for B. Then on the C template, we'll cut two of these and they will be positioned in two different parts of this particular block. Also, I love the non-slip coating that Creative Grids puts on the back of them. They're all along the outside perimeter of these, so you don't need any extra dots put on these. And then this is a two and a half inch uh, rectangle that will be cut out. So before we get started, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and slice this in a section. You're gonna notice by the pictures that are shown, you always know, you know where to put the templates. So the very first one, I'm gonna set this up. The D is over here on the right, and the C is here, and I'm gonna separate this into a section like this. So from this section, we're gonna cut both a B, we'll use that along the line, and a C template right up here. You'll notice you have just a little bit of waste, but that's okay, you can cut that off. And all the templates have those little corners notched out of them. So when you piece them together, it's super easy. Also, I have found that because nothing really matches when you sew these blocks together, I don't use any pins. I think I do pin the last seam just to make sure that it doesn't wiggle when I put it together, but that's about it. It's very forgiving as you sew. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll cut our B template. And of course, you could cut through as many layers as you feel comfortable with. So if you find you can cut through four layers, layer up four of your colors. Once again, just make sure they're all right side up. 
And then this is where, if you're cutting out from leftovers, just stack them up on the side of your table. And here we'll cut a C. Great. Now remember, we do repeat this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that one over here. D is gonna go beside it. And then we'll cut a full-sized template A from down here. Usually I just line it up along this edge, cut and slice that up. Now for sewing these together, we're once again gonna sew them into the order where we cut them apart. So you're gonna sew this section together, one and two, and then add that one on top. This one, one and two, and then together. This will finish as an eight and a half inch block and finish, finish size will be eight inches. Since these templates are six inches tall, that is why cutting from six inch strips are wonderful. So if you have it a whole 45 inch long strip, that's great. But if you have smaller amounts like this one, this was left over from the last quilt I made and there happened to be six inch strips. What I should do is go ahead and cut them up into my scrap crazy template set. And then they'll be all ready to go. I could almost have my own little, um, some of you store things like in pizza boxes where you could just kind of add to them as you go. So watch this. We're gonna put one of these over here. And again, six inches tall. You will also cut an, a B template. So just put that right up next to it. And then C template, we need two of those. And then we will end up flipping that over. And then the last one is actually the full A template. Now notice you're gonna have extra, especially if your strips are uh, longer, you can then go ahead and cut those up based on just what you're cutting and just keep kind of evenly filling in your piles. You can come back in and cut another one of these or cut a, a B template, super easy to do here. Now just one more note for those of you cutting out of 10 inch squares, if you start with 20 squares and then you shuffle them all up, you will end up with 20 blocks.